Should your husband have any say in how you dress when you come out the house? He shouldn't because you should yourself have that respect for yourself. But a lot of girls here, specifically in Miami, dress half naked all the time, if I could be honest. I would never dress like that. I, you know, I have a family, I have someone that cares for me, I, and, and, and I just don't like to be that way. So when a woman comes out of the house and she's dressing provocatively, is she trying to send a certain message to people? In my thinking, I think you're sending a message of like, okay, like I'm letting everybody know that I'm available. That, but that's my way of thinking though. I can't speak for everybody. And what led you to think that way as a woman? Because, again, I have a daughter, I have people that I care for, so when I think of my daughter dressing like that when she's 16, 17, well, we know what guys think, we know what girls think, we know what the message sends. Even if you're not trying to, even if they do it because they think it's cool, you are going to send it because you're showing parts of your body that don't need to be shown, you know? Where are the women like this? It's like her, Mary Poppins, and that's it. They, they, they're all gone. This is the thing, man. Everything she said was right on point. Everything she said. There are so many women who refuse to believe this. They believe that men want the women who walk around with everything hanging out. But the fact is, these are the women that most men want. Most, because there are some men who want those other girls. But the average man who wants a wife, this is what he's looking for. He's not out there chasing the girl with the BBLs and, and all this crazy stuff. He's looking for this, a woman who thinks logically. If you have a daughter, do you want your daughter dressing like that? Because she's watching you, mommy. She's looking at how you dress, how you carry yourself. So if you're walking around looking like a street walker, that is what she's gonna do. Who cares what they're showing you on TV? It is all lies. This is why men marry certain type of women. They don't go out chasing the street walkers. Again, most men. We're looking for someone who thinks and walk around like this. This is a beautiful woman and she's fully clothed and still looks great. A lot of women make the mistake of believing the more skin they show, the better they're gonna look. Yes, you're gonna be more sexually attractive to somebody, but you're not gonna be more attractive to somebody. I'm talking about regular men. That's all I'm saying. If you want some dude who's just trying to smash, do the other way. But if you're looking for a dude who's trying to wife you, this is the way to go. I really wish more women thought like this, man, because I really do love this. I love her mindset. The crazy part is some women would consider her basic because she's just wearing regular clothes. But basic means doing what everybody else is doing or just being standard. Well, today's standard is dressing like a prostitute. So if you are not dressing like a prostitute, you're no longer basic. Those women are basic. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Yo, why my friend that call her man cheating in their apartment and she done fought the girl and now she mad at me. Y'all probably like, Kyra, well how she's mad at you? You ain't got shit to do with it. She mad at me because I asked her, why did you fight her and not your man? She talking about because she was in my house. She got in through your man. He has the key. I'm like, so did she disrespect you? Like, did you know her? No, first I asked, did you know her? She like, no. I'm like, so did she disrespect you? Like, did she say anything? She like, no, she was just looking. So why did you put your hands on this woman? Now, if that was me personally, I would have asked baby girl, did she want to jump? Man, that's jumping. But that's just me. But she got an attitude talking about because the bitch was in my house. Because of your man. She like, you know what? Let me just have to you before I have to fight you too. Baby, you mad at everybody but him. This woman is correct. I never understood that. What does that person have to do with you two? Who let him in the house? Now, if that person was talking trash, that's totally different. But if I catch my girl with the dude, I don't have beef with the dude. As long as I don't know him or nothing like that, I ain't got beef with him. I got a problem with her. Has nothing to do with him. She is absolutely right. It's not her fault. Be mad at your man. He probably lied and said he was single anyway. You can't blame her. Say there's a woman in a room with 10 men, and all 10 men are telling her how beautiful she is and how amazing she is, and they're lighting her cigarette and buying her drinks and just treating her like gold. Then, all of a sudden, in walks the 11th man. He takes one look at her and says, hey, how you doing? Turns his back on her and starts talking to his boys. That's the guy she wants to be with, the 11th man. Not any of the 10 men who were treating her well all night, but the one guy who couldn't care less. Why? Because for some reason, women don't want nice. They don't want real. They don't want to be treated well. I mean, not at first and sometimes not ever. And I think that's crazy. 
but I refuse to play that game. I mean, you, you are a master at it, Sal, but it's just not me, it's not who I am. I don't want to have to play that game, or, you know, get a girl by pretending that I don't like her. I want to be with a woman who's real, who, who digs it when I'm nice to her, who doesn't see that as weakness, or take me for granted when I tell her that I think she's more amazing than anything else in the entire world. But, fortunately, most women aren't like that. They say they are, and deep down inside, they want to be, but they're not. Man, this is the crazy part. So many men want a wife, want a girlfriend, or whatever. They just want one woman that they can just spend their life with. A lot of men are like that. It may not seem like it because you hear a lot of them online saying something different, but a lot of men just want to be happy with one woman. But what this man is saying is true. It is hard. You go out there and you put your heart out there or you tell a woman that you like her or show interest and all of a sudden she's no longer interested in you. It's just the games that a lot of these women play. Not all. There are women out there who don't play these exact games, but a lot of them do. And it's so confusing because there's so many men out there who are just logical thinkers. If I like a woman, telling her is the best thing to do or showing her is the best thing to do. Just let her know, I like you. Start showing her I like her. But if you do that with certain women, they'll no longer like you. It's just crazy to me. I'm not playing those games with anybody. I'm at a place right now, I'm not gonna do that. If I show interest in you and you stop showing interest in me, I no longer am interested in you. Like this man said, a lot of them want to, but they just can't. They don't know how to do it. They don't know how to think a different way. So you just have to be careful out there, fellas. And that whole thing he said about the 10 men and the 11th man walk in, and then all of a sudden that woman wants him, that is absolutely true. Not in every situation, but that is true. I remember years ago, it was like me and about five, six of my friends. We go into this bar, all my friends were trying to holler at these two girls. I wasn't paying these women no attention. I just wasn't thinking about it. I think I was looking at the menu, trying to order something to eat, whatever. The two chicks try to get my attention. They're asking me information. I end up getting one of their numbers. They even hit me up to have a threesome. I'm not even lying. This is a true story. For whatever reason, I never did it. I never remember what happened. But the point I'm trying to make is that is true. Some women move like that. But here's the solution for you, fellas. A very simple solution. Only talk to a girl who really is digging you too. Like if she really likes you, a lot of these games will go away. I mean, they don't totally go away, but it's a lot easier because she actually likes you. See, a lot of these times, we are out there trying to convince that woman to like us, and that's where the head games and all the mind games come in. But if you only are dealing with women who like you, who genuinely likes you, a lot of these games will go away. It's just how it is. A lot of men out there are trying hard to get a woman's attention, and the fact is, the same attention he's giving her is why she's not paying him attention. So we have to do our part in picking better women as well, men. And I wanna say, men play a lot of games too, so we're not innocent, because there are men who do this as well. You show interest and they fall back and start acting silly too, so the same thing applies to you women. Only date men who are really interested in you, and a lot of these games will go away. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.